Hey guys, what's going on? Teleflame HD here, and welcome back to Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. It's been a while since I recorded one of these episodes. Um, best part of roughly, I don't know, two months, maybe three. So, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while. So, if I remember correctly, in the last episode, we were on board the Dreadnought gunship and we headed down to the plasma focusing chamber. Our mission, or our objective anyway, is to realign the primary focusing chamber so we can fire this damn thing. I've got Austin and Mitch with me at the moment. As you can probably tell, I am now using a new microphone, so I wouldn't be surprised if you can hear me using my keyboard and or my mouse. So don't worry about that. We also did, in the last episode, pick up the Arc Welder, or the Dreadnought weapon, this little thing here. So we'll just go ahead and see what the deal is with this. Die, please. Thank you. The gravitic plating in this area mustn't be fully charged. No shit. Right, let's have a look. Right, so you can jump pretty high. So this puzzle's obvious. We'll just jump up onto here. No, oh, sick. Yep, you can probably hear me hitting my keyboard. Um, jump. Stop. Destroy him. Destroy him. Ah, uh, I need to jump off the edge there. That is not what we would have wanted. So we need to jump from there to there. Here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right, we'll send the elevator down for them. We'll switch to the compression rifle for now, just to save us um, ammunition on the dreadnought weapon, because we're going to go through it pretty fast. Are you coming up? Alright, they're coming up. Sick. Okay, so doors. Austin. The door is locked, sir. Tuvok said he disabled all the security locks. Too bad Chell isn't here. There's some micro fissures in the door structure. I think I can blow it. Take cover. Taking cover. Good work, Austin. I wouldn't be much of a demolitionist if I couldn't blow up a door. Banter. Right. So we should be on our way now to the. Oh, for fuck's sake! Please, please die. Thank you. There's another one. Yes, there is. And I'll switching up to that. So I'll just do that from now on. Another elevator, boys. No. I guess that will go. Again, guys, I do apologize if you can hear me hit, uh, press my keyboard and stuff. You know, it's there's nothing I can actually do about that. I'm afraid, as the menu microphone has to be in front of us, so it's unfortunately in front of the keyboard as well. What's this? Jog on, jog on. Right. It's only been three minutes, four minutes. Bloody hell. Right, ammunition crystals. Go back to the arc welder. Kindly die. Thank you. Pick up our health. Pick up that. Right. We can realign the door, or the, the door. Fuck's sake. The focusing chamber by pressing this. There we go. Yay! Okay, so we have successfully realigned the plasma focusing router to supply power to the firing mechanism. Second objective is to proceed to the loading chamber to, at the aft, in the aft of the gunship. Let's go, gentlemen.
Array. Let's go. That was me cracking my fingers. I do apologize for that. I'm apolog I'm I'm saying sorry for a lot of things today. Just just feel free to ignore us there, guys. I can see the harvester ship. Working as fast as I can, tells you. Right. What's our ammo looking like? Right, we need ammunition crystals. Bad. Don't suppose there's any lying around. Yeah, this... Guys! Mitch, even? Mitch! Oh, he's there? Fuck it. Christ. Oh, hell. Right. This way. Getting through here with those rocks. Yeah. Right, I'm down to 25 ammunition. This is not good. Jump on, boys. That's it. We're here now. They know we're here now. That's fucking obvious. No, 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 get away, get away, get away, fucking kindly die. Thank you. Ammunition crystals in there though, that's exactly what we want. So we'll take them happily. Jump up onto here. And the rods. Hey, that's the. Uh oh, more bots. <sighs> Shit. But this is only. I had over my fucking mouth. I was going to say that this is only two of them. Oh well, ammunition crystals. I'll take them. Jump down. Hey, little piggy. Hey, little piggy. Some other. Guess who's back with the man you're rapping at? Oh, shit. Die. Right. We don't have time for this. Back downstairs. Honestly, I have no idea what the hell is going on now. This is just a fuck fest. Fuck off. Ammunition crystal. Load the firing chamber. Mr. Monroe, you are in the storage chamber. The energy rounds for the weapon should be there. Here's one. But how do we get it to the firing chamber? You press button. Meow. <laughs> There you go. Uh. Oh, Claire's.
You have got to be kidding me. Oh. No. No. Uh. No. 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 That's. Shit. Ah, uh, I no. I'm too busy focusing on the fucking the bots and shit, and Mitch. Mitch just goes and dies. Like no. Mitch was a good guy. Tuvok, shut your tits. Go, 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 go. We are out of time, Ensign. Load the charge now, or Voyager may be lost. I'm loading it now. That would be highly advisable, Mr. Monroe. Come on. Commander. Acknowledged. I am initiating the firing sequence. Prepare to beam back to Voyager. Please let this work. I'm guessing it didn't work. Sick. Where's everyone else? We took some damage, had to beam you back separately. Tuvok needs you, come on. Okay. The harvester ship was only disabled, but now they're trying to board us. That's one tough ship, but at least Voyager's still in one piece. Chang, Monroe, the harvester's docking tendrils are attempting to breach the hull. Go to the equipment room and restock. Hey. Get out of the way. If the harvesters are anywhere near us, you're going to need some heavy firepower. Everyone okay? I'm fine. As you can see, we took some casualties. Do you require medical attention? If you need medical attention, just come back here. This is a repeat of episode four. Sick. Let's go, Austin. The harvesters are almost through. Come on. Oh, fucking Christ. Because that's fucking obvious. Right. Let's clear these bastards out. Yeah, didn't see that one coming, did ya? Well, we've got people dead. Oh, Christ. What's behind here? Compression rifle. It's not what I want. Any more? One in the bed. Pathetic. Whoa, what? Right. Yeah, that bulkhead's breached. Right. Door shut behind us. 
That's why I'm on this ledge, guys. I knew that was going to fall. Switch the grenade launcher, guys. Right, I know what I've got to do. All right. Yes, Rick, lad. Some boy. Right. Just clear the way. What's that? Compression rifle, I love that. Oh, Christ. Everyone okay? Nearly ended up dying. Require medical attention. Your assistance is much appreciated, Ensign. I'll say. Any later and we might have been a harvester snack. When Rhoda Bridge, the harvesters have been eliminated. Good work, Ensign. We'll get cleanup crews down there on the double. Can't believe the aliens survived the hit from that dreadnought. It would have been much worse had we not disabled the harvester. Not that that's going to make anyone around here feel any better. What do you mean? Let's just say that, as ship's morale officer, I've noticed people are a little on edge from constantly being on the defensive for so long. I just hope we get out of here soon. Tuvok, Ensign Monroe, report to the conference room in half an hour. Conference room. Decisions. Right. The ISODCM is working. Environmental controls and most critical systems will be online soon. But I don't know if we'll get full power back. How long before warp drive? I want to get Voyager as far from this death trap as possible. I might be able to get it up and running, but I can't guarantee its stability with that constant power drain from the forge's dampening field. Harry, what about sensors? Can we... Wait, aren't we... Go ahead, Ensign. What's on your mind? Well, aren't we going to counterattack? What? I mean, are we just going to sit here and wait for them to attack again, or are we going to strike back? I don't intend to leave Voyager a sitting duck, Ensign. Maybe you weren't paying attention just now, but we're doing our best to get out of here. Mr. Monroe, you were invited to this conference as a courtesy. The captain has rejected your proposal. Captain, I'm just saying what everyone is thinking. All right, Ensign. Just what is everyone thinking? Well, it's just that people are tired of being on the defensive. I have to agree. I've talked with some of the crew. Morale is low. They feel vulnerable. The best defense is often a strong offense. What are we supposed to do without engines and weapons? Drift over there and use harsh language? That thing's outer defenses could cut Voyager to ribbons. Not every problem can be solved by force, Ensign. I would have thought you would know that by now. While we're sitting here licking our wounds, the Forge could send another Harvester ship. All the more reason to get repairs done sooner. But what if the repairs can't be finished because of that dampening field? I understand. We're all feeling vulnerable. But I'm not just captain of this ship. I'm the captain of her crew as well. I can't ignore the morale of my people. If they don't get a chance to fight back, they might not have any fight left in them by the time the next Harvester comes. And I can't ignore the fate of the other countless victims this forge has taken, and the ones it's yet to take. We've been fighting so hard for our own survival, we've almost forgotten our responsibility to the others trapped here. If we have a chance to stop this madness once and for all, we must take it. However, Voyager is in no shape to challenge the forge. Mr. Monroe, I take it you have a plan in mind. Yes, I do. Trojan Horse. The Harvester ship? Of course! I can take a small team of my best people. We use the Harvester to enter the forge and lower its defenses so you can send reinforcements and shuttles. If we can shut down the dampening field, Voyager and the other ships should be able to escape. We don't have any idea what kind of internal defenses that thing has. At the very least, we can buy Voyager some time. All right. Tuvok, Chakotay. Monroe, let's put together a plan. It's time we brought the fight to our captors.
Once the dampening field generator is down, we will evacuate the forge and return to Voyager via the shuttlecrafts. Crewman Jaworski, yes. Sir, how are we going to get the harvester back to the forge? We don't know how to operate it, do we? A science team has examined the harvester ship and discovered an automatic recall system. The ship is programmed to return to the forge on its own. Your team leader, Ensign Monroe, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. The first team is going to be a small group, just myself, Telsia, Beesman, and Chell. We will board the harvester and initiate the auto-return sequence. We believe the harvester will return to this area of the forge, a docking ring of some sort. Still under construction, apparently. Our scans indicate that the external defense's power grid is located somewhere in this area. Once we shut it down, we'll call for the reinforcements. That's where the rest of you come in. Once we rendezvous, we will spread out and proceed down this main shaft. We'll try to locate the generator for the dampening field and destroy it, allowing Voyager to escape. Any questions? Liz? What kind of resistance are we going to run into? Honestly, we don't know. We presume there'll be more harvesters over there and who knows what else. We don't know anything about this forge and who's operating it, but I expect pretty heavy resistance. Look, I know some of you must be scared. I know I am. But the Hazard team was created and trained for exactly this kind of dangerous assignment. We can beat this thing. This crew has repeatedly surprised and impressed me over these past several years. Starfleet, Maquis, and others. We've all come together and performed beyond the expectations of even the finest starship crew. I know you can do this. We will shut down this death trap. All right. Let's suit up and get going. My team, meet by the Harvester docking tendril in one half hour. Dismissed. Come to wish me luck, Tuvok? Vulcans do not believe in luck, Mr. Monroe. However, your success is crucial. And while I believe you will prevail, I hope that your mission does not encounter undue adversity. Thanks, Tuvok. We will join you as soon as your team deactivates the outer defenses. External stimuli. Okay, so we are on board the forge. We're getting close to the end of the game now, guys. I know, I can feel it. So after this one, there should only be about five parts left. So it's we've been gone almost 24 minutes here now, guys. So I'll cut it here. So thank you so very much for watching. This is really starting to get interesting now. I can really feel the end of the series coming up. So yeah, thanks so very much for watching. Uh, drop a thumbs up on the video, it'll be greatly appreciated. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.